Good morning. Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. We're not in the garden today. We're out looking for weeds and we've found some. Today we're going to talk about Dame's Rockets or Hesperus matronalis. This is an invasive species in the state of Ohio. So it's considered a weed. But I personally think it is beautiful. Some people refer to it as woodland phlox. But th there is a woodland phlox and this isn't it. This is also called sweet rocket. Mother of the evening and wild phlox. And there's a good stand of it here. It goes all back through this wooded area and it I don't think the camera is doing it justice because it is absolutely beautiful. This plant is hardy in zones 3a to 8a. It's a herbaceous perennial and it likes full to partial sun. It blooms from mid-May through July. It gets one to four feet high and can spread one to two feet except where it spreads seemingly forever. It prefers moist soil and, and it's resistant to drought. It likes clay, loam, or sandy soil and an average to alkaline soil. It likes dry, average, good drainage but moist. This plant attracts bees, butterflies, and songbirds and it propagates by seed. A single plant can produce up to 20,000 seeds. That's a lot of offspring. Flowers are white to purple to pink. The first year plants overwinter as an evergreen basil rosette. Flowers are fragrant with a clove-like scent, especially in the evening. They're weedy and on the invasive list in Ohio. They can be mistaken for native woodland flocks. The difference being Dame's Rocket flowers have four petals. Phlox flowers have five petals. The young leaves are high in vitamin C and can be eaten in salads and have a slightly bitter taste. Seeds can be sprouted and also eaten in salads. But it is beautiful. Thank you for watching this video about a beautiful weed. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.